Just your first impression. I'm under a big tree. Under a big tree. Very good. So as you are under that tree, describe this tree for me. What does it look like? It's so tall. Mm -hmm. It has moss. It has moss on it. Mm -hmm. There's moss on the ground. There's moss on the ground. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this tree and the moss. Looking up, and there's so many other trees that it's like a family of, like a family of trees. Mm -hmm. I can barely see the sky, but it's up there. Mm -hmm. And in this place where you're looking at this tree, do you have a physical body? I feel like I'm little. I feel like I'm little. Tell me more. What do you look like? I thought I was a little girl, but I'm smaller. You're smaller than a little girl. Tell me more. I think I'm a. I think I. I think I'm a fairy. I think I'm a fairy. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself for me. What do you look like? Red hair. Red hair. Mm -hmm. How long is your hair? Sh shoulder length. Mm -hmm. I have a headband. So yeah, sort a headband. of a, something around the top of my head, like a crown. Mm -hmm. But it's natural. It's organic. It's organic. Mm -hmm. It's part of your head. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else do you look like? Look at your hands, your feet. Just dainty. Dainty. Mm -hmm. Perfect little hands and feet. Mm -hmm. How did I get like this? What else do you look like? Look at the rest of your body. Anything special about your body? I have a little belt. Mm -hmm. A little belt. Does it have a color? That's brown. Mm -hmm. Burlap. It's not straw, but it's like burlap rope, or, and it has a little little satchel on it. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine is in that satchel? Pebbles. Pebbles. Hmm. Do you collect pebbles? I'm collecting pebbles. Mm -hmm. What do you look for in pebbles when you connect, collect them? They bring me energy. Mm. Are these special pebbles? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these pebbles. Where do you find them? I fly in. The trees help me to mm. find the pebbles to help the people. Do you, do you communicate with these trees? They're my home. Hmm. So tell me more about your adventures looking for pebbles. I find the pebbles to help the people. You find the pebbles to help the people. What people are you helping? just know I need to find them. Very good. So let's see how it is that you find the pebbles. What did you go to a moment in that lifetime when you were looking for the pebbles? And you could speak up a little bit more so I can hear you. There's water in between the trees. I go, 
I go to the water to find the pebbles. And they're clear because I look for the smooth pebbles because they've been smoothed over by the water. Mm -hmm. Do these pebbles have different colors? Pink, blue, and green, mm -hmm. topaz, topaz. Topaz. Do these colors signify anything in particular? Different colors help different people with what they need. Mm -hmm. I don't know what people are if they're human. Or I don't know who I'm helping right now. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just continue looking for these pebbles and tell me where you find them. See yourself now going to look for these pebbles. By a stream and there's others like me. There's others like you? Do they look like you? Not just like me. They have different color hair and different color skin. Mm -hmm. Some are darker. I'm light skinned. What is your color skin? I'm light. You're light. Light skin with red hair. Light skin with red hair. Mm -hmm. Do you wear any type of outfit? It's blue. Blue. It's much it's shorter. Mm -hmm. I can see my knees. Tell me more about yourself. What do they call you? A Avery. Avery. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Avery, does that resonate with you? Yes. Yes. So Avery, let's find out what it is that you're doing today. Take me through this. Take me through this day. I feel good. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Speak a little louder because I can't hear your whispers. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm having fun. We're all doing a job here, but we're so happy having fun, dipping our toes in the water. And they are so fresh. But we're at the stream to collect the pebbles. Take them back to a village. Mm -hmm. The village people don't know that we're here. So allow yourself now to go to the village and tell me what you do with those pebbles. I set them around. I set them around the homes. The homes are made of stone. People need to find the pebbles to pick up the pebbles to get the energy. What if they don't pick them up? Will they get the energy anyway? Some who are open to the energy will. Mm -hmm. Others need the others need to pick them up, so we we need to put them in the place where they can see them. So where do you usually put these pebbles? Within the entryway. Mm -hmm. And they need to be shiny and smooth. That's why... That's why we take them from the stream. Because they need to catch the people's attention. Mm. Do these people know they're supposed to pick up these stones? They don't know yet, mm. but they know once they pick them up that they're special. Oh. They think that they might be from us, mm -hmm. but they've never seen us. When do you do this? How is it that you go to the village and they not see you? We're there. They we just. We're there in between them. We fly in between them, they don't see us. Ah. So do they seem invisible to them? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
How do you carry all these pebbles? In our satchels. Mm. Around our waist. So the satchels are invisible too? <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. So when is it that the pebbles finally appear? We collect the pebbles and put them in the satchel from the stream. We're like little bees. Mm -hmm. Busy. Busy all day. <sighs> we want the people to pick up the pebbles. Mm -hmm. To draw the energy and help. <sighs> Tell me about this energy, please. What's important about the people using this energy? <sighs> they're, starting, they're starting to disconnect. Hmm. They're disconnecting from the energy of nature. They're learning. They're learning more about their world and their capabilities. But they're also disconnecting from the earth. We want to keep them connected. It's important that they stay connected to the earth. But they're just starting starting to figure out a new world. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel sad that we're losing that. Mm -hmm. What is your role with these humans? What do you do for them? I want to help them stay connected, but they're starting to lose. Mm -hmm. They're starting to lose their sight, and they're starting starting to be so selfish. I don't know where they're going. How does that affect the fairy world? <sighs> we will still be here. We will still be here in the Those who want to come back can be here, but they won't see us. They won't see you. They're too disconnected. Mm -hmm. Do you have other ways for the humans to connect with nature? Is there anything else that you do besides the pebbles to help the humans? You put them in their shoes. You put them in their shoes. So they take off their shoes and walk on the earth. Mm. Even just for a moment, they get in touch. Mm. We play games with them sometimes. You play games with them, so when you stick a pebble in someone's shoe, you want them to walk on the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens when they walk on the earth? It's the instant connection. It's the connection. A Gaia connection. She sends the energy through them, even just for a moment, it will help. Mm -hmm. Why is it important for the humans to be connected to the Gaia energy? They don't know now, but eventually they will, that they need to help her. She'll need their help soon. What's happening with Gaia? Why will she need the human self? It's like they, she knows that they're gonna. She knows that they're gonna destroy her. And she wants. She knows that they're gonna destroy her, but in much time from now, they will also be the ones that can bring her back. She will lose her way. She will also lose her way. Mm -hmm. But they will find a way back to... to oneness together. Mm -hmm. And how do the fairies know all of this? They're her helpers. Mm. They help. And there's so many. She sends them out as helpers. 
Is there anything else that the fairies do besides picking up pebbles for humans? They encourage. Okay. They encourage to plant, to sow the seeds, and to grow. Don't forget to grow. What needs to be grown? Food. Food and shelter. Humans will see that, that we need to go back into the organic realm and it doesn't have to be. All the steel and the fire and the melting down of oils and gases to make things run. Mm -hmm. What is the ideal thing for a human to live in? wood and the trees are here to help us and they they don't feel like it's a sacrifice they feel like they grow to help to help provide shelters for the humans who are here in this life experience to change they're here to evolve And the trees understand that they're part of the process to evolve. These humans are learning. They have so much to learn. And they need the trees. They need the trees because they're dependent on Gaia. Mm -hmm. How is it that the fairies know so much? Where do you get all of this knowledge from? We just, we come from the earth and Gaia seated us here. Mm -hmm. We go from the earth. I don't, know, I don't know how we, I don't know how we're born. I just come from, I feel like we just crawl out of the earth at mm -hmm. some point and we're here. And how many fairies are there? Millions. Ah. Where do you live? Are you only in the forests? Every place that the sun touches where is where we are. We're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Do you live in the in the buildings? Do you live in mm -hmm. cities? Or only where there are trees? Anywhere where there can be something grown. grown. We can't be in buildings because we need the soil and the green. Mm -hmm. We need the dew from the flowers to live. And so many people are bringing more into the city now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> As the people bring more to be grown inside the cities, do the fairies come to the cities? Yes. Mm -hmm. To they the rooftop. Do they bring pebbles into the city? Yes, so we bring them into the gardens. Mm. We put them into the soil to help them grow. The more pebbles we can bring, the faster. Mm -hmm. Things will grow and the humans need it faster now. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to focus more about these stones. We started talking about these stones. What kind of energy? comes from these stones. There's a lot of rose quartz. Rose quartz. Mm -hmm. What does the rose quartz do? Divine feminine. It brings the divine feminine to anchor into the earth and into the soils. The divine feminine is coming from outside of earth. Tell me more about that. Mm, prime Creator, sending the divine essence of feminine energy. Having the rose quartz helps to anchor the energy. 
and we sneak the pebbles. Mm. Into the places where it needs to manifest. So what is this plan that Prime Creator has? Is there a plan? Just to send more more peace and love and slow it down. Just slow it down and feel the essence of, of what's happening. There's changing and there's so much good. There's so much chaos right now. There's so much chaos, but we can focus back. Mm -hmm. They can focus back. There's so many. You can focus back and even with the, the little polished pebbles that we bring, it helps them to focus mm -hmm. and to know that there's something. They put them in their pockets, put them in their cars, in their backpacks. And when a human carries one of these stones, what does it do for them? It allows the Divine Feminine to anchor into their presence and it awakens into their, to their being, into their heart chakra. Mm. It allows them to grow into who they're supposed to be and it allows, it allows God to expand into, into their being. Mm -hmm. They are all touched. Mm -hmm. And once they begin to expand more, what changes are expected? Mm. They just take it easy. They take it easy. Mm. They feel the love. They don't care so much about and who did them wrong and they just are not focusing so much anymore on the darkness. Darkness is fading away. Mm. Tell me more about this darkness. Mm. Are the fairies affected by the darkness? No, we can't touch us. Mm. Tell me why. Because we're able to connect, we know how to connect, and now the humans are connecting again and the darkness is fading away. Wonderful. But it was there. It was there for a reason to show them, to give them the choice of the contrast. Mm -hmm. They needed to experience the contrast. And now that they've experienced the contrast, they choose differently. They can make the choice and they can change here right now. Mm -hmm. Anytime that they choose. And they go back and forth, ebb and flow. Tell me more about this. They're going to change. The humans are going to change everything. They already are. Mm -hmm. So many don't know. So many already do how it will be. There's so many creators right now helping to understand and teach what the new earth will be. Some are already living it and it will slowly expand into the rest of the earth. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about the new earth? Clean air and clean air and ease of energy. It's just so fresh. There's still buildings, but somehow they're organically made and vines growing everywhere. But they don't need to have water. They're just taking the 
vapors from the air to survive. Mm -hmm. The vines or the paper? <sighs> the vines on the buildings. Hmm. They're just absorbing everything, the nutrients from the air? Yeah, they're absorbing and then they're providing water and nutrients for the humans who live there. They don't have to look for water. The they don't have to have bottled water. It just comes comes from their surroundings. They can generate the water through where they're living. It comes. It's a living space that they're living in now. Mm -hmm. Is this new earth now, or is this in the future? Where is this? It's very soon very soon. Some people, some people are already living there, but America doesn't see that yet. What's happened in America that they don't see that yet? They've been held back the most. They've been impacted the most? Tell me how. <sighs> What's happened in America? They've been suppressed the most from everything. They were supposed to be the most powerful. They were. The greed, the banking systems took over. Mm -hmm. And took over other parts of the world, but not so much. They were supposed to be like the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. Mighty. But just like the Roman Empire, they were taken down by their greed. But they're coming back. There is a light. There's so much light there. How is that light affecting America? <sighs> the light is starting to take over, but the so many are still so focused on everything that's wrong. The darkness is fighting, the polarity is there. Mm -hmm. The polarity is so real for so many people and they don't realize that they have the choice to just turn it off. Well, what about those people who are trying to grow a business? For example, Anita is starting her own business. She is a businesswoman. She has a job in which she sells homes. She has a business. She takes so serious. Tell me about that. She's so serious about her business. She needs to lighten up. She it's needs to lighten up. Mm -hmm. Tell her about it. It's supposed to be fun. It's she's supposed to be helping people. That's what she wants. Mm -hmm. What was the reason that Anita's soul came to incarnate in this world? What was her purpose? To awaken others. To awaken others. To awaken others in this time. Well, it seems to have taken her a very long time to awaken. What is it about this time? Why is it this time that she awoke and not in the past? She had to have many experiences before this, mm -hmm. this life, while it's posed its certain circumstances, it's been easy. It's been a lot easier than what she's experienced in the past, turmoil in the past. Mm -hmm. She's learned from that. She that she wouldn't come back again, but she did. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be here. Where is she from? <sighs> she is from the stars. Mm -hmm. So why is this star child now back on Earth? She brings, she brings the knowingness mm -hmm. of the unity that we have in other dimensions and other planets. 
She's bringing with her the knowledge of the Pleiades and the Syrians. Mm -hmm. What is her connection with the Arcturians? Does she have any? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the story there? She feels a strong connection even now as she speaks. She feels her heart fill up with blue light. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of this blue light? She associates it with the Arcturian. Mm -hmm. And we are near to her. Mm -hmm. We guide her. She has been here many lifetimes with us, the Arcturians. Does she see any spaceships? We see her, but she can't see us yet. I can't see you. Well, she tells me that she sees spacecraft-shaped clouds. And wants to know if they're cloaked. Yes. Uh -huh. They're all around her. Why is it that there's so many in New Mexico? <sighs> the open skies and the desert. Uh, the trees aren't too tall. There's not many buildings. There's lots of granite and rock. We like that. What is it about the granite? Oh, it conducts so much energy. Mm -hmm. The open space and the connectivity. The Native Americans who are still connected, there's many who are not. There's many natives who have lost their way because of the corporate structure of America. But many who are connected. They draw us. They draw us there. Mm -hmm. And you talk about granite. What is it about granite that's so important? Mm -hmm. It's the energy transmitter for Gaia. Mm -hmm. It transmits the energy on the surface level. And you know that many of the homes nowadays have granite inside. It's not by accident. Mm. So when somebody has a granite painting, <sighs> they think it's so prestigious. Mm -hmm. Humans. What is it about that granite? What's it doing? <sighs> it's conducting. It's awakening. It's awakening. Mm -hmm. Their food. They put their plates on the granite and the food, and the granite infuses their food with the energy. But we have to make it seem because they are so focused on prestige and money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had to make it seem like it cost money for them to put it in their home. Mm -hmm. So when they have granite in their bathrooms, granite in their kitchens, granite and quartz. Quartz. Mm -hmm. What does the quartz do? It opens them up. Mm -hmm. It opens them up to understandings, more understandings. Mm -hmm. When they're sitting at their countertops and eating their dinners, preparing their meals, they're making connections with their families and their higher selves. That's a pretty sneaky way of in awakening, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's all around. Mm -hmm. It's in almost every home. So it's affecting everybody. Yes. Is this part of the awakening? Yes. So all of this granite has had something to do with the awakening? Gaia. And Gaia put it there. Gaia put it there. <sighs> She's given so much of herself for these humans. It was all a process. It was a understanding. When they came and Gaia gave herself, it was a partnership. Partnership between the humans. She said she would provide for them, knowing, knowing that there would be a time when they came into a space to where they would forget. Mm -hmm. She was willing to 
take that risk and she almost lost herself because of it. Mm -hmm. But it's the humans that brought her back. The connection. She's so thankful for them. For the ones who loved her. She feels their love. Mm -hmm. The garden's inside of her. So much going on. To help her ascend. What can mm. we do as humans to help Gaia even more? Ground the love. Anchor the love. The God light source energy. How do we do that? Bring that through the crown chakra, through all your chakras, through the mind's eye the words that you speak and in the heart and how you feel in your gut and bring it down into the your reproductive when you have children when you have children that the children come in and they bring that energy even more at every child that's born mm -hmm. and then you send it down and you ground it through your legs and your feet just from walking on the earth. Every human who walks this earth grounds the God light energy into Gaia and she sends it back up. So humans are important. They're actually bringing the light in. <sighs> They're doing so much. Mm -hmm. They're doing so much. It's a partnership. It's a partnership. It always was. But what happens, for example, when we don't walk on the, on the land? We wear rubber soles? We walk on cement sidewalks and asphalt streets? I don't feel bad about that. It's part of, it's part of your reality, but you're reconnecting. Everybody's reconnecting, understanding. Mm -hmm. Moccasins, people buy moccasins off Amazon. Mm -hmm. We're making it more available. Don't worry so much. The connection will happen. It's happening, it already is. Everything is changing. Mm -hmm. And don't be so upset with those who brought the polarity. They were once of the lights and they made the choice to be the contrast. Mm -hmm. They made a huge sacrifice. To be bad, uh, to be what we call evil. Mm -hmm. What do we do with all this evil? Transmute. Transmute. How can we transmute the evil ones? Mm. What can those who work with the light do? Send magenta, the magenta light the magenta throughout the light. world. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the magenta light. It seems that Anita began the session with magenta. What is it about this magenta light? It's a combination of a violet flame. Mm -hmm. God source, violet flame energy. The energy coming from Gaia, it all makes magenta. Mm -hmm. You bring it all together and send it out into the world. Don't focus on the evil because it can still be powerful enough to take over. Don't focus on specific evil. Just let the magenta flow through your heart space and through the world and into each being. It will find its way into the hearts of the ones that it needs to go into. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with all of those who, like Anita, who only a few years ago was in the world of religion? What do you do with all of those who don't believe in all of this? They know. They know what the truth is. All the hearts are opening. Mm -hmm. Many of them are putting on a show right now for 
their family and their friends. They don't know what they're feeling. But there is that spark inside of them as there is a spark within us all. That spark is growing and you send the white light of source to their heart. Mm -hmm. And it will grow and the truth will be revealed of so many. There's so many truths that are coming to the surface that people can't make sense of. They're starting to realize that it's, it's not of God. Mm -hmm. What is it of? Polarity. Mm -hmm. They had to make sense of it. They had to put it in a box. They had, they had to make it third dimensional for it to make sense. Had to make sense of Jesus and the crucifixion and the idolatry and the symbolism. Mm -hmm. They needed the idols to see because they were not led by their heart and by their true understandings. They needed the idols to see like the golden calf, mm -hmm. like Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Tower of Babel. And you talk about this white light that is awakening of the hearts. Why was it that Anita was the first one in her family to awaken? Okay. They wanted her to. They wanted her to. Tell me about that. They told her that she would be the one. Who told her? Her family, before she came, mm -hmm. before they were all here, she agreed that she would do it because she likes to explore. And, she uh, likes to explore. Mm -hmm. She likes to explore and be the first. She's a pioneer. Mm -hmm. She loves to be the first mm -hmm. to experience. The others are free to let her do they like to watch her. Mm -hmm. Has this family been together in other lifetimes? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Her mother is here. She's always here. She's like a fairy. She's of nature. She's of nature. Mm -hmm. She's helped Anita to get more grounded. She was never grounded before. She was very much in the air, in her head, in the clouds. She never thought anything of planting or walking barefoot or being dirty. She, she didn't like that before. Mm -hmm. I left her. What about now? How is mom helping her daughter now? I'm with her all the time. Mm -hmm. She feels me. She feels me now. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell your daughter? What message do you have for her? I'm here, my girl. <sighs> Don't be sad. There's no need for tears. We are one together. She is helping me. How does she help you? There is much that I didn't finish when I was on this planet. Much I could not see because of my own because of my own illusions. She's receptive open we have fun together in nature and planting and I'm showing her how to plant and I keep her plants alive sometimes when she forgets mm. now was your daughter this little fairy that we saw when we first started this session or was that just a messenger she has been 
And that's how we're connected. We were both fairies. We were. We were. Mm -hmm. She has been my daughter in many other lives. Mm -hmm. Now you talked about guides. Who is guiding in different aspects of her life? Does she have one guide or does she have several? She is right. She is connected with the Arcturians. Mm -hmm. That always comes up first for her because we are connected to her and she sees us mm -hmm. in the clouds. Not yet. It's not time yet, mm -hmm. but we are close. How many of these Arcturians are connected with her? Many. Mm -hmm. That's a collective. Do they play different roles in her life? Or are they all working together? They play different roles. Mm -hmm. She sees us as the avatars. Ah. What do you look like? Mm. She wants to see us as extraterrestrial with a physical body but we are not mm -hmm. we are spirit form spirit form mm -hmm. and as spirit forms are you able to interact with her on a daily basis yes mm -hmm. can you give her an example of a recent thing that happened that you were involved with she looks at the stars she has her sky map she cannot find us she cannot she always wants her sky map to say Arcturus, but it doesn't. Mm. But we're there in the twinkling of the stars, and the dancing of the stars, and she questions this in her mind. She can see us moving. She sees us moving in the stars and skipping around, and she questions if it's all in her mind. And now, Alba, because of you, she knows it's not her mind. Very good. Now, who can help her with all of those questions about abundance, finance, and business? Who would be the best one to answer these questions? Is there a guide or her higher self? Her higher self knows. Mm -hmm. And her higher self is connected also to the Lyrans who come in and help. Mm -hmm. What do the Lyrans have to do with her? She is associating her father with the Lyrans. Mm -hmm. Is this the lion? The lioness. Mm -hmm. The lioness that she associates herself with. That's the connection there. Mm -hmm. There is a lineage of abundance, but she is not meant to find the abundance in this lifetime as she has had it many lifetimes before. She has been so abundant. Mm -hmm. She will have what she needs when she needs it in this lifetime. She's not so focused on the abundance as she was before. She has had many riches. Mm -hmm. Well, she says she's always had issues with money. And she wants to change this. And she has to realize that it's not so important to her mm -hmm. that we provide everything that she needs. Mm -hmm. She has everything that she needs and she needs to stop focusing on the money mm -hmm. and start focusing more on the energy. How can she focus mm -hmm. on this energy? Because right now she's working full time. She's starting a business. All of her attention. That's what we want her to do. Mm -hmm. She is a creator and she creates many things, many ideas that we give to her in her mind and we want her to start it. Just start it. We're telling her just start it mm -hmm. and we will send those who can help you figure out the details and that's what she has troubles with. Mm -hmm. That's what she struggles with is the details and she's not here to figure out the details. There's others here to assist her with the details. So for example, the managing of the business. She bogs herself down with that and there's a 
man that is coming that will help her with the management. Mm. She already knows who he is. Very good. And what about the fact that she wants to live at a slower pace? She enjoys... It's important for her to slow down so she can envision the creations that we want her to bring to Earth. She needs to slow down and pay attention to her imagination because she is a creator. She is a very strong creator. Mm -hmm. And she can manifest easy. So all of this abundance that she wants, all of these needs? We will, we will care for her. She will be fine. She will be fine. Very she good. just needs to focus on the creation. Mm -hmm. And why is it that all of these animals have come into her life, to that farm? What's going on with that? They are here to help her focus on that creation. Hmm. How do animals do that? They help her focus into the now. They mm -hmm. help her focus on them. Focus on me, they say. Focus on how cute I am. She has little animals. Mm -hmm. She likes little animals. And they have come into her life because they can catch her attention enough to where she doesn't worry about the things that are happening into her life and when negativity follows her they call her out into the barn to be with them mm -hmm. living in the now focusing in the now and there's others that are calling to her there are those that need her help the animals that need her help mm -hmm. she's always been connected to the animal realm they help her she helps them and it's a even exchange of energy. Mm -hmm. they, they have been in situations that they wish to be away from. And so they willed her and she came. So they manifested her? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Now she tells me that on the physical, the physical body. We knew you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her physical body? Would you do a scan out of it and see what's going on? Pelvis. Mm -hmm. What's happening with the pelvis? She has problems. She has tightness and aches and pains in her pelvis and her knees. Let's find out the origin of all of this tension there. I'd like for you to take her back in time and space to find the origin of the time before, right before she created all of this tension in those areas. Her birth. Mm -hmm. What happened when she was born? She was not planned. It was a surprise. They weren't sure they were going to move forward. There was problems in the marriage. Nothing serious, just like any other marriage. And <sighs> Patricia was not sure that she wanted more children, but her mother her mother kept telling her it was meant to be, but her mother wasn't ready for it. Anita felt that when she was born. Mm -hmm. She had colic, severe colic, because of it. What was that colic representing? What was she expressing with that She colic? was feeling the energy of Patricia. Mm. What was she doing with that energy?
What does she do with Patricia's energy? With her mom's energy? She stored it in her body and later it became a tumor that she had to have removed. Mm -hmm. Patricia felt guilty because of that. That was a lot of what tormented her in this life. Mm -hmm. Her and Anita had a lot of turmoil because of it. Anita not knowing that she was storing her mother's energy and only to give it right back to her mother in an older form. Mm -hmm. So where is it in her body that she stored this energy? In her knees, in her pelvis, in her solar plexus. Mm -hmm. So she's been holding this on, onto this energy for 38 years. Yes. What has it been doing to her? It keeps her down. Uh -huh. There was an energy. Let's identify this energy that's keeping her down. <sighs> It does not want to go. Mm -hmm. Did she create this energy? Is this a thought form that she created? Did she give it life? There's many. Mm. In her knees, there's different energies in her knees. There's different energies in her pelvis. Mm -hmm. The pelvis comes from energies this lifetime that she's did she create those energies herself? No. Did they attach to her? Yes. All right. Is it time now to address this energy? Yes. To find out why it's there? Yes. All right. So I'm going to move my hand over that energy and going to be bringing it up. All the way up, 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 up. And now you can express yourself. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? What may I call you? Justin. Justin. How old are you? 18. 18. Justin, what year is it for you, please? 1992. 1992. Justin, what happened to your body in 1992? I was in an accident, a car accident. What happened in that car accident? What happened to your body? Impact. Impact. Tell me more. I was killed by impact and I shouldn't have left. Mm -hmm. I was having fun. Were you driving, Justin? No somebody else was? Yes. Mm -hmm. wasn't my fault. So how did that make you feel, knowing that someone else had taken your life? Angry. I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. So, Justin, when a soul leaves their body, when a body dies, the natural progression is to go back home. Back home to the light. She takes care of me. I don't want to go. What does she do for you? How does she take care of you? She's not your mother. What does she do for you? She keeps me here. Mm -hmm. How does she keep you there? With her insecurities and self-doubt. Ah. And what do you do to her? What do you tell her? They make her hips hurt. Make her... Make her think that she's fat on her hips. Ah. So you give her these ideas in your mind, in her mind? Stretch marks there. You put stretch marks there. Why is it that you're doing so many mean things to her? Did you know her? Because she shouldn't feel good. She shouldn't feel good. Did you know her before? Have you known this soul before? No. No. So why is it that you targeted her? She was easy. She was easy. How old was she? Sixteen. And what was happening in her life at that time that made her such an easy target? It's 
hanging around with the wrong crowd, doing wrong things. Mm. So what did that do to her aura? It brought her down to my level. Ah, so the frequency changed. And you matched. Yes. Yes. Well, it seems now that her frequency is a lot higher. What is that doing to you now, Justin? I'm holding on. You're holding on. What are you so afraid of? I don't want to leave Earth. You don't want to leave Earth. What do you think would happen if you left Earth? I don't know. Oh. I don't know what's there. Oh, okay. Justin, if I were to... I know what you. you're going to do. I've seen it. Ah. And what are you afraid of? I don't want to leave. You I don't, don't want to leave Earth. Okay. You don't have to leave her. But wouldn't you want to feel better? Yes. Yes. So you know what the what the story is. You know that there's that spark in, inside of your heart. You've heard this before. That God spark that created you. It's there. Just expand it to see how you feel. I feel like I'm I feel like I can't find it. I feel like I'm made of wood. Ah, well, it's there because everything was created with that God spark. Everything is connected. So go ahead and begin chipping away at that wood. Find that little spark. It's there. Keep searching. I can feel it. You can feel it. So now, Justin, you know that all you have to do is make that spark bigger so that you can get the feeling the feeling of being better. How does that feel as you make that spark bigger? Tingling. Sparkly light. Very good. Make it even bigger. Let's explore how this white light feels. This is silly. Mm, make it even bigger. This is silly. I feel like Pinocchio. Ah. I'll make it even bigger, Pinocchio. Make this light really big. I feel like I'm becoming a real boy like Pinocchio. Oh, make it even bigger, Pinocchio. Make that light really big. Make it so big. It just takes over your whole body. Feel that wonderful feeling. Oh my God, isn't it feel good? Isn't that wonderful? Feel that release. Feel that love. I can see the angels. What do they say to you? What have they been waiting for? The angels have been waiting for you. Are you ready to release and finally go home? Do you realize this is how wonderful it feels to go home? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Anita. Do you forgive Justin? Making me hurt so much, making you feel so bad. All right, so let's send Justin off with light and love. Justin, I want you to go ahead and begin pulling from her body all of your energy. Tell me where it is. From her hips, her and hips. her back, on her, her spine. I just spot in her spine that I was pressing on. Mm -hmm. Where else? that pain from the impact? The knees. Mm -hmm. Knees. I hurt my knees. Mm -hmm. It was an awful accident, wasn't it? Pull it all out. The way up to her lower spine. That's what happened to me, my spine. Mm -hmm. You broke your spine. <sighs> That's how I left. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out of her body. Don't leave anything in, Justin. Pull it all out. So now that you've pulled it away and you've absorbed it into that beautiful white light, I'd like for you to go back to that accident scene and see your body there. And I'd like for you to go ahead and begin using that white light to transform that body and make it whole again. Transform it and become whole once again. Heal your spine, heal your pelvis, your back. 
your knees. Look at that body. Tell me how that feels, Jessica. I'm leaving now. Very good. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to escort you back mm. home. Tell me when you see Archangel Michael. I see him. Mm. Did he tell you anything? He has a sword. Mm-hmm. He's telling me to come with him, to hop on the back. It's time to go. Very good. So tell me when you get back home. Tell me when you get there. Let me know if anybody's there to meet you. My sister, my mother. What do they tell you? How was it? What did you learn? You stayed so long, longer than you had to be there. They're grateful to Anita. They are grateful to Anita. Very good. Justin, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much for going back home and helping Anita today. So now I'd like to ask if there's any other energies in her body, or was it just Justin? Her left wrist. Her left wrist. What's going on with her left wrist? Now, she can feel it in both wrists. In both wrists, all right. So I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to swipe that energy all the way up, feel it coming up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Mary. Mary. What are you doing in her wrists? I make them tight. Make them tight. Mary, how old are you? 64. 64. What year is it for you? 86. Is it 1986? Yes. And what happened in 1986? What happened to your body? Muscle tension. Muscle tension. What happened to cause that muscle tension? Mm. What was that? Muscular sclerosis. Muscular sclerosis. So, when you died, Mary, what happened to your soul? Where did it go? I stayed in the hospital. You stayed in the hospital. And how did you find Anita? find her? Her grandmother. Her grandmother was passing away. Her grandmother was passing away. So what happened? How did you, how is it that she was so vulnerable that she allowed you to connect with her? What was she feeling? She was chubby. She was chubby. Mm -hmm. People made fun of her. People made fun of her. People made fun of me because of how I looked and how I had my arms. Mm -hmm. How did your arms look? Mm, They were so tight into my body. Mm -hmm. I couldn't move them. It spread to my neck. Mm -hmm. So how is it that you are affecting Anita? What do you do to her, Mary? She can't get stronger. She tries to get stronger in the gym and I don't let her because I I don't let her hold the weight. You hold her weight? I don't let her hold the weight that she wants to hold. So you can't make her stronger? She gets tired easy because her wrists, she can't write too long. She can't type too long. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that to her? I don't want her to be able to do it. I didn't. I couldn't do it. What is it that you have against this girl? I don't have anything against her. I do love her. Mm -hmm. So why do you make her hurt? I want to be like her. Ah. 
But see, if you're being like her, it's not working. You're just giving her all of your pain. Is that a good way to love someone? No. No. Wouldn't it be better, Mary, to feel good on your own? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to help you? Yes. All right. Mary, inside of you, in your heart area, there is a little spark of light. This is the light that created you. This is a spark from God. I want you to find that little spark. And tell me when you see it. I see it. All right. So, Mary, let's stretch that light out. Let's put some energy in there and make that light really big. And as you expand that light, tell me how that makes mm. you feel. Finally. Mm -hmm. What do you feel, Mary? It's a lime green light. Light green. light. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? I can move my arms now. Mm -hmm. I feel like part of the wind. Mm -hmm. Is there any reason for you to continue to be attached to Anita? No, I just... I have learned so much from her and I didn't mm -hmm. want to leave her. How about now? Now that you feel like the wind? There's more for me to see. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time for you, Mary, to go back home so you can see a lot of things. Are you ready to do that? Yes. All right, well, pull all of your energy out of her body. Tell me where it's, where your energy is. In her hands, in, in her, her wrists. I'm taking it away from Take her. Take it away. And tell me when you have completely removed her energy. Now. All right. What would you like to tell Anita? After all of this discomfort that you've caused me. I'm sorry, but you did teach me so much. Mm -hmm. I needed you to help me. You needed her to help you. Very good. So take a deep breath in. Anita, are you willing to forgive Mary and let her go with light and love? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, Mary, I'd like for you to take your energy and go up to the top of her head. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. How do you see him? Bright. 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 Just all light. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Beautiful. What does he tell you? Come with me and be free, mm -hmm. my sister. Very good. So go ahead and join Archangel Michael. And he's going to take you straight home, back home to your Creator. And tell me when you get there. I am here. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone there to welcome you, Mary? So many people. Who are these people? How do you know them? They're little people. Mm. What do they say to you? I was an experiment here. You were an experiment. Zeta. Mm -hmm. But it's time to come home. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany Mary. Thank you very much. And now, let's do a scan of that body and see if there's any other air energies that would have attached or that she created within her body that's causing her any discomfort. She needs assistance in opening her heart. All right. So let's let's take a look at her heart and let's see why her heart is closed. Let's find the origin. Let's find out why she closed that heart. Let's 
let's go way back before that heart was closed. What was the what was the impact that closed that heart? What happened to Anita? Her first heartbreak. Her first heartbreak. Mm -hmm. She was let down in her trust. Mm -hmm. First time her trust was let down and that changed everything. Mm -hmm. So what decision did she make that hurt her heart? It was a relationship. Mm -hmm. Someone that she trusted. So what did they do to her to make her close her heart forever? They betrayed her in the relationship. They... He saw other... other women, mm -hmm. other girls. They were young. It wasn't a big deal, but she hurt from it. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at her heart. And let's see what that heart looks like. Does it have any... any... locks on it? Does it have any closures? Does it have any... It's like a flower that needs light. All right. It's like a bud. Mm -hmm. She just, she's there. It just needs a little bit more light. What color love. light? What color light does she need to put in there? White light. Very good. So let's begin beaming that beautiful white light into that heart. And I'd like for you to tell me what happens as that light touches that heart. The light turns yellow. The yellow light opens the flower. Mm -hmm. And the light turns into rain to nurture the flower. Her heart is a flower. Mm -hmm. It needs to bloom and open, blossom. She loves the blossoms. Mm -hmm. And how can we continue to keep that heart open so that she can give her love and receive it? Continue to give it light. Focus on the light in the heart daily and it will open up. It will keep it open. Mm -hmm. It has a tendency to close. But all she has to do is welcome the light in every day and it will stay open. Good. Does she need to do anything in particular to allow that light to come in. Her bowls, she has singing bowls. Mm -hmm. That helps a lot and that's why we had her get it. Mm -hmm. The crystal singing bowls. And so as she plays the singing bowls, she can open her heart. The vibration will help to keep it open. And she focuses on the white light. As the vibration keeps it open, the white light comes in and transmutes it. She has so much to give. And this will help in her creations. Wonderful. So how does the heart look now? Warm. Mm -hmm. Good. Beaming. Good. And now that her heart is open, let's take a look at the rest of her body and see what's going on with her digestive system. What's going on there? It has gone now. Mm -hmm. What was causing all of that? The other entity that was here before. Mm -hmm. Was that Justin? It was him. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's going on with her hair? Why does it fall out in stages? She's implementing the energies. Mm. So what happens when you implement those energies? What does it do to your hair? It creates a stronger vibration and the hair is of the physical. Sometimes it can't withstand this energy that's coming in through the crown chakra. Mm -hmm. As she upgrades and implements, her body will get used to it. 
-hmm. And it will grow as she wants it to grow, but for now, it's going through a transition. It's just a transition. It's nothing serious. So she's, just she's like a tree going through autumn. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she... It's turning it white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can color it if she needs to. It's fine, but... Can she reverse that to where she can send out her new hair? with different colors. Yes. What does she need to do in order to sprout this hair? All she needs to do is believe and ask. Wow. Good. She likes the white though. She does. She complains about it, but in a sense she likes it too. It, she feels like it's her. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wisdom. It's her wisdom. It's her mark of wisdom. Now she tells me that she has exercised quite a bit trying to keep her body lean, but she always struggles to keep the weight off. What's going on with her body? Why is it fighting her and keeping this weight on? She's not making the right decisions with her nutrition. Mm. And when she starts focusing on them, starchy, starches. Starches are not good for her. She needs to focus more. And since she's been here, we've shown her ways to incorporate what she likes without having the starch. Mm -hmm. She's been eating quinoa and warm vegetables, grounding vegetables, mm -hmm. mushrooms, and sweet potatoes she enjoys. So those are nutritious but not starchy? She does not need the starch that's created by man. She mm. needs the starch that comes from the earth that can help her be grounded because she has the tendency to be up in her higher chakras. Very good. So I know that you've told me that there's things happening right now with the vibration. And she wants to know about what's going on right now. These waves of energy that are coming in this event pulses. the pulses what is this pulse all about what are these pulses for? she knows she knows that they're coming from the central sun mm -hmm. the central sun is sending these pulses and it all comes from source mm -hmm. but it needs to be manifest into physical the pulses are coming and changing and the energy is coming from the central sun and shining light on all things that are third dimensional and all things that radiate go back out into the earth so that everything can rise at once mm -hmm. how is that affecting humans many upgrades and changes and body aches and pains many do need clearing as she got today mm -hmm. energies that need to leave many need to seek help from others don't be afraid to find assistance you don't need to do it all on your own Connect with your tribe and they will help you to release these energies. The energies need to go back so the humans can ascend in this time. Mm -hmm. So what's happening in this time? What's the importance of it right now? The golden age is upon us now. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, golden age? The time of renaissance and enjoyment and fulfillment of love and light and prosperity for all. Many don't know how it's all too much for some people. They won't be able to fit, to see it in the physical. Mm -hmm. They're transitioning 
to help those they can better help those when they're in the non-physical so many good people so many are wondering why good people are leaving now but they need to expand their vibration to help more they can't help the way they want to in this physical plane but there's those in the physical that need to ground the earth and are here to help Gaia the ones who are here now walking on earth are the ones that are assisting Gaia the ones who are leaving are the ones who are assisting the ones who are still helping mm -hmm. so it's a big chain isn't it chain reaction we're all one and we all serve a purpose mm -hmm. so what is the purpose that Anita is here for would you like to sum it up for her why did she come here what does she need to do she will be the first of many it's her job to connect to others like her that she is finding there are more than just her and through the connection of those who are already awakened like a chain they will help those who are just awakening to ascend because it's happening faster and there will be more chaos and those who are awakened now it will progress faster mm -hmm. so they need to know more because the chaos will get more before it gets less what kind of chaos are we talking about uncertainty unknowing not necessarily anything bad but people transitioning into the awareness of who they are and how they are in control mm -hmm. Good. why did you bring Anita here today she came all the way from New Mexico she had been searching mm -hmm. she needed validation that she was on the right path she knew in her head but I wanted to tell her and have her see she needed to connect with her mother her mother needed to talk to her her mother is here with her she comes and goes but she is with Anita she is here for her until she fully ascends has her mother gone to the light her, mo her mother is of the light oh, she yeah. has already gone to the light Very good. but she comes back to help good is she one of her guides yes mm -hmm. good is there anything else that you would like to tell Anita now that you have her undivided attention stay focused child you are of the earth you came here to love Gaia and to help Gaia help her to ascend and to help those around you but stay focused that's all you need to do is focus in the now that's how you can help the most is to be within the now and even now she can feel it in her body as it warms and heats this is what the now feels like all her power is in the now and she feels this now with all that is radiating through her body she understands now what this means this is why we brought her here she needed to feel this in her physical body what the now really was and she has a better understanding very good are we complete today yes very good thank you very much and feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> I feel like I've been a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was in a spiral there for a while. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was in my body and then I felt like I was just I could hear you asking me questions, but I feel like I was, my spirit was just like in a spiral, like a mm -hmm. whirlwind almost, just mm -hmm. feeling everything, like the elements. I felt like I was an element, but mm -hmm. I could still hear your voice. Mm -hmm. How did your body feel? Hot. 
、mm. like so hot and tingly. My、mm-hmm. hands are tingly. Like,、mm-hmm. just feel so much energy. Yeah. How long do you think that you were on this journey? Like forty minutes, maybe.、Mm-hmm. We're right now on an hour and forty-five minutes. What? <laughs> That happened so fast. I feel like it was just boom, boom, boom. Like you asked me a question after another, and I was just answering, and that was it.、Mm-hmm. And here I am. Interesting, isn't it? Let's let's switch up. Let's get you some air there, and let's change that up. Let's give you some shungite to ground you. Let me give you this one too. Give you a moment there、oh. to just. Gather your your wits about you. <laughs> How's your joints feel? Your knees, your wrists feel good. Your back feel good. I can't believe that I heard that voice. Mm-hmm. It was like even sounded different.、Uh-huh. It just came out. It、mm-hmm. just came out. It was the weirdest thing. Mm-hmm. I thought that I was gonna have to do it, and then it just came out. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, huh? Really interesting. So, do you feel that、uh, you accomplished what you needed to accomplish today? Yeah, definitely. I feel like in my head right now, I'm saying now it's time for the real work to begin.、Mm-hmm. And、now. your higher self is going to continue talking with you now. You're probably still hearing. Some of the things flooding in. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. It's just saying now. Now it can begin. Now it can begin is what I'm saying in my head.、Mm-hmm. So, do you want to share some of this session with people, taking out personal stuff? Yeah, that's. I think that that would be great. Whatever. Yeah. This is I don't know what it. I don't know what it could help, but、it's、whatever it can. Interesting to hear how the fairies do their job. Do you remember that? Yeah. They. I put felt little pebbles、it. in your shoes, and they, they.、Uh, and my, pe- what's so funny is that my son, my youngest son Jeremiah, is always bringing me rocks, and he always finds little rocks that he's bringing in. <laughs> I mean, he just he found a little amethyst, like a full blown、mm-hmm. amethyst, one time that he brought into me, and I thought it was interesting that I was hearing that because he does that for me,、mm-hmm. and. I'll just find little pebbles myself, and now maybe I know where they're coming from. Interesting, huh? Let's go. Oh my goodness!、This、wow, what a session, huh? An amazing, amazing journey. Yeah. So tell everybody what you felt. I felt like I felt like I was present, so、yeah. I was definitely present in the moment. But、yeah. it was almost like I had taken a. Back seat. I was like a back seat <laughs> rider in、yeah. my own car. Yes,、um, if that makes sense.、Mm-hmm. So, kind of, someone took over the steering wheel for a while. So, now you were talking about stuff that's pretty deep. I, I could hear myself talking. Yeah. yeah. I I can't right now remember every single thing that I、yeah. said.、Um, you were talking about the fairies, the pebbles. I do remember that. I remember、Prime、going、creator. along. The- I mean, is this are these even words that you say? No, because you were <laughs> brought up. What religion were you brought up with?、Um, well, I was baptized Catholic,、mm-hmm. and then I went to a few different Christian、yeah. religions、um, before coming to this point. So,、yeah. um, just hearing what I was saying was, <laughs> and that's、uh, different. It's like yeah, it's like my ego in the back of my mind was saying. What are you saying? This doesn't make sense. You're just making this up. And as I'm saying it, all I kept hearing in my background was, "You're just making this up. Why are you making this up?"、Mm-hmm. You know. And、Isn't、I was. Isn't that funny? How how the ego will just try to sabotage your session. And this happens a lot, where you know I'll tell you you're lying. This is not right. And what did you do when you heard your ego? I just, I would just tell it, calm down. I would just say, <laughs> calm down, and I would just keep going. It's, it's like I would just dismiss it. Yes.、Um, the exercises before really helped me to understand、yes. what it was going to be like.、Mm-hmm. So when I felt it, 
mm-hmm. I knew right away and right. I knew how to yeah. how to deal with it. Yeah. And this is what I do in all of my sessions. I, I spend about 90 minutes talking to my clients before we even do the hypnosis session. I talk about, we talk about their life, we talk about um, their questions, and we also do exercises for you to focus your concentration. We go through different trances, and during these little exercises, you will get an understanding of what your ego does to try to sabotage this. So I try to prepare my clients before the session so that they will have a successful session when they finally get on the couch, and that's what we did with you, Mm -hmm. right? So that helped. And it was completely, I had imagined a whole bunch of different scenarios and never did I imagine what I saw in my mind's eye. Yeah. So, um, what were you expecting? I don't know. I was <laughs> expecting to be some alien on some other planet <laughs> or, you know, I don't know. I, I just, I had all these different scenarios that your mind plays on what you're going to see and not one of them was what I heard today. And when you saw yourself as a fairy? I couldn't believe it. It was like a little... <laughs> little fingers? Yeah, just little like... I, I couldn't even make it out. I was like a little glowing entity. It was really... With red hair. With red hair. A little satchel of pebbles. It sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Isn't it cool? <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> Thank so you. is this something you recommend for others? Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. I think just to get in touch with really, you know, what your higher self is is guiding you to do and I think that I had some blockages yeah. that um, were kind of perplexing me and mm-hmm. I think that's why my higher self brought me here is to yeah. because as I woke up all I kept hearing was now it's time to get the real work done so yeah. I'm excited to see what the next Excellent. stage holds. and you were told you gotta let it flow we right. will bring you what you need right so stop worrying about abundance, stop worrying about all these things, just let it flow. We'll, we'll give it to you. So much easier that way. Isn't it nice? <laughs> I mean, when you really think about it, look at nature. Does nature have to move? Do the trees have to go anywhere to find anything? Everything is brought to them as they need it. Mm-hmm. So this is, we're part of nature, but we've forgotten that. And what's really interesting was the part about the granite. Do you remember about the granite? I do. Yes, that's right. But the granite is being brought into people's homes, and it's supposed to be a luxury thing, but it's really a way for Gaia to make that connection. Right. Yeah, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. I was in the back seat of the car, really (laughs) contemplating (laughs) Yeah, I thought it was really cool. You know, everybody has granite countertops now in the bathrooms and the kitchen. Yeah, the granite and the quartz countertops now are prevalent in, like, everyone's homes. And now you have a little... In your hand, a little perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed. So, um, if you'd like a session with me, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. Go to the out of town page. On the bottom of the page, you're going to see sign up for my newsletter. Now, that's the only way that people get sessions with me. You sign up about once a month. I send out a newsletter telling you where I'm going to be. There's going to be links on that newsletter for the cities. And right now, we are in Austin, Texas. This is where we're filming. Where are you from? New Mexico. So you came all the way from New Mexico to Austin to see me. I couldn't even believe that a session popped up, but you know, (laughs) when your higher self wants you to be here, it finds a way. You're going to be here. You'll be here. So you might not be thinking about it now, but in two months you might be If you're meant to be. Somewhere. If you're meant to be here, you will be. Right. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I certainly did. I thought it was really, really cool. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. So thank you very much for watching. Till the next time. Bye. Thank you so much.